In the last video in this series, I want to show you how to set some preferences for the software. Up under the Tools menu is the Preferences. In the general area, you can change the maximum waveform buffer. However, you must note the time sweep and the samples across the screen do affect the buffer size. You can also change the times per division or time across the entire screen. In the regional area, you can choose whether you want English or another language. In the printing area, you can put your company name, your website, a phone number, and even a logo. In the color section, you can change the color of each channel if you don't like the default. And down under the line thickness, if you don't like the line thickness, such as you want to have a three point for the channels, you can increase the line thickness. For the grid lines, you can also make those thicker, and you can do the same thing for the rulers. In the sampling, the slow sampling transition will take a moment to explain. When the time base is set less than or equal to the slow sampling transition value, the waveform is displayed before the hardware buffer is full, such as in this animation. When the time base is set greater than the slow sampling transition value, the waveform is displayed after the hardware buffer is full, such as this animation will display. The default value for slow sampling transition is 200 milliseconds per division. On a final note, the Pico software and hardware are in a class by themselves. I'm unable to cover every feature. However, I have tried to cover what I feel are the most important features for the automotive technician.